I derailed my train in the middle of nowhere with nothing on me but my hat. And now I have the urge to build spaceships. <laughs> this is Create Astro, a mod pack that meshes Create and Add Astra together to give it the ability to travel to space. But will I be able to achieve this? Hello, my name is Fastlane Costa and I will be your new favorite engineer. Let's start this beautiful journey. Oh, hello, hello, and welcome to the Create Astro mod pack. I'm Fastlane Costa and I'm going to be your host or primary hero throughout this beautiful journey. The great thing about this mod pack is that it's actually super difficult. All of the recipes are changed. And I mean almost all of them. Okay, not all of them, almost all of them. In fact, if I want to create a simple axe here, if I want to create something like a shovel or an axe, I can't, I simply can't. It's because all of the recipes are changed and that is a small problem, but you can actually solve it. If we want to craft tools, we would have to utilize the Hephaestus mod, previously known as Tinker's Construct. And as an every self-respecting Minecraft player, I'm going to start by punching some trees. After having enough trees, we can go back to our crafting bench and create our, what is it called? Our patterns, so we can create the necessary tables. So let's make them. After we have the pot builder, we can put a pattern here, select, let's say, an axe head, put a material, and bam! Using this simple method, you can craft various other parts so you can create your first tool. For example, I'm creating a handle and a binding so that I can make my axe. After we have the necessary parts, we just go to the Tinker Station, put them in there. You see, they have designated spots. And we have our first tool, which is an axe. Now I can chop trees a little bit faster. Whee! The other thing that we should craft is actually a pickaxe. This is Minecraft after all, so we need something to mine with. Let's create our handle and our binding, then go to our tinker station, select the pickaxe and just make one. How convenient! After we wasted 10 minutes just to create basic tools, we should actually go and dig something up. There is a cave here, which is a good start. I don't have to dig up that much dirt, so let's just get some cobblestone. After I've gathered at least 3 stone, I'm going to craft myself a stone pickaxe because this wooden one is just too slow. And it's that easy. And we can just go and gift our wooden weapons to Poseidon because we aren't going to be needing them anymore. Okay, we have a good start with Tinkers, but I think I'm going to go and mine some more cobble and if I find some more, that's going to be a pro. See? Not a con. A pro. What? Okay, so the copper wall and the tin ore are really important early on. They are used to create bronze, which is then used to create cogwheels and stuff. And since all... F <coughs> and since the main mod of this mod pack is actually create mod, we should be able to create a lot of cocks. The other thing that you want to grab a lot of from is actually this andesite. Andesite is the... Pro oh, okay. Thank you for letting me explain. Andesite is actually one of the key ingredients for creating the primary component in React machinery. To create andesite alloy, you need to create andesite compounds. And to create andesite compounds, you need, you guessed it, andesite. I'm going to grab as much as I can before my pickaxe breaks. And then I'm going to go and raid that village. Okay, I've got it about a stack of andesite, which is <laughs> uh, totally not enough. As I said previously, some recipes are actually altered. So to create andesite compounds, you need three blocks of andesite. And that's a lot. And as I emerge from that cave, I'm now seeing that it's nighttime. So I'm going to go and find a bed to sleep in. Get up! Ah. Hmm. hmm, to you, Mr. Villager. I actually need to sleep. You don't. Don't shut the door on me! We've got a decent amount of ore. <laughs> it's actually nothing, but we need to smelt it. And to smelt ore, you can't simply craft a furnace like that. No, 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 no. The recipes here are different. You can craft it like this. And in fact, this is not just copper ore. You can put any ore here, but you need to have three raw ores on the bottom of a furnace so that you can craft it. You ask me why? 
I don't know why. And while our ore smells, I'm going to explain to you the quest system. We have various quests here. In fact, we have chapters of quests here. We are on the 0.5 chapter. So this is an introductory chapter, which explains to us how we can craft, you know, a crafting table and then our tools, how we can, which ores we can mine actually. And then we have our final destination here, which in fact unlocks the first meaningful chapter in this mod pack, which is the Andesite world or the create chapter. But to go here, we actually have to smell eight types of ingots and collect four clay. Okay. But first, let me go through all the quests. We have our crafting station, which rewards us a bed and a torch. Hmm. Yeah, that might have been useful to see when I didn't have one. The second thing are actually the patterns. Here, the quest explains how patterns are used to create tools. A book, Materials Anew by Hephaestus, is actually a reward. I won't be going over this. If you're playing this mod pack, you can read this yourself. Okay, our ores are almost done. So now I'm going to actually, I'm starving. I'm going to go get some food. Since we are in a taiga biome, a spruce biome, there should be bushes of berries around. We just have to find them and try not to sprint because no, our hunger is going to decrease even further. And another quick tip. If you see these trees, instantly get them. You are now in the beginning, but these trees are actually the rubber trees, which allow you to create many core components from the create machinery network of stuff. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> it just allows you to create funnels and belts and stuff. So just grab them and don't craft anything with them. We're going to mill them down, get the sap and what do you want, bro? Like, tell me, why are you following me around and humming? in my ear. I'm trying to explain stuff here, so please go away. Thank you. S such a rude guy. I'm not going to trade with you. The trades are disabled, don't you know? I can't trade with you. See? See? Go away. Mm? Okay. That's the thing I was looking for. So these are red grapes. Can I actually harvest them? Yes, I can harvest them. Okay. I'm also going to harvest some of these. Man. Being well saturated is painful. These bushes have thorns on them and they are not afraid to use them. A well-balanced meal. And this is going to take forever. Two thousand years later. And the other thing I wanted to grab was this, which is actually a wild onion. And when the time comes for me to make a farm, I'm going to have something to plant which is nice. Now let's go back to our crafting stations. Ah, stop stinging me, geez. Oh, look, there's actually some armor here. Okay, this pawn is, yeah, this pawn is actually very forgiving. I'm going to pretend that I didn't choose it myself. <laughs> and should I get these? Yes, why not? Uh, how can I break you? You see, in this mod pack, the axes are actually considered a weapon. Well, they are a weapon, but they have a cooldown. So you cannot, like, I'm spamming the left button right now, but I'm not hitting any faster. So, yeah, my <laughs> my bare hand cut down wood faster than an axe. Okay. <laughs> ah, at last, my ore has melted. Now I'm going to put my tin in it. That sounded strange. The next thing I'm going to do is actually craft copper tools. As you can see, the copper has a lot more durability than the stone. We have more mining speed. And the other thing I'm going to make is these repair kits. I'm going to show you what they do in a sec. Bro, what are you doing? This is my bed. Jesus Christ. Like, these villagers are super unreasonable. What are you doing? This is my space. I have like 20 square blocks of space that I call mine. Go away, have a whole house in the village. Let me show what the repair kits do. If you go down in the mine and actually break our pickaxe, as you can see, the pickaxe is broken, but it does not disappear from our inventory. And if we put the pickaxe here and put the corresponding repair kit inside with it, we can actually repair our pickaxe and keep all of the enchantments that we have, if we have any. Let me show you with the copper pickaxe and a copper repair kit. As you can see, fully repaired. The cool thing about them is that they actually stack and you don't have to bring five pickaxes with you. You can bring one and just repair it, which is actually nice. And since I have a lot of copper, which went where? Here. I'm going to craft myself copper pants and some copper boots. 
There is nothing else for me to do than to go and mine some more. Jeez, is this game going to be just mining and crafting all the time? Hmm, wonder where it got its name. Hmm. Okay, I am looking for iron. Yes, that is iron. I'm going to grab that copper tin and all of the ores that are here around in these walls, and then I'm going to go down and grab that iron. Okay, I got my first piece of iron. Iron is actually pretty important in the beginning. Later game, you can generate it from cobblestone generated stuff. But early game, it's super important it's required to create all of the basic create machinery like drill, saws, and etc. If you see any iron, be sure to grab it. Of course, there's going to be a zombie here. Actually, I'm impressed. This cave is totally dark. I've artificially brightened it so that you guys can see what I'm doing. But it's pitch black here. There is no resource of light. And there was just that one zombie, which is a little bit concerning because knowing Murphy's Law, a shit ton of mobs is going to spawn just as I'm trying to get out of here. So <laughs> I really hope that this doesn't happen, but... Okay, I've collected a fair amount of ores. The iron is a little bit low on the numbers, but we will have our chance of collecting more. The thing I wanted to tell you is that you can actually see the level of pickaxe that you require to acquire <laughs> certain ores. As you can see on the upper right corner, there is a pickaxe with a check mark. The pickaxe is actually a stone one. That means that this ore requires a stone pickaxe to be mined. So if I get out my <laughs> broken, uh, actually it's broken, so I probably won't be able to harvest it. But as you can see, this one requires a stone pickaxe and I can get it. This one is zinc and it shows that you need an iron level pickaxe. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you need an iron. It just needs to be an iron level pickaxe. And copper is in fact iron level pickaxe. And as you can see, I have that little check mark there. So I can collect zinc, which I didn't know up until this moment. And the only reason I'm so excited is because to craft an iron pickaxe, you actually need a create machine. You need the, the press, the kinetic press, what is it called? The mechanical press. You need the mechanical press so that you can create iron sheets, which therefore you can use to create your pickaxe the normal way. But to create a pickaxe, create iron level tools, you need to press the iron. Oh, another thing <laughs> I failed to mention in the beginning is that um, in this mod pack, skeletons have guns. Yeah. We tired of playing with your ass. Skeletons? They, oh shit. They don't have um, bows and arrows. They have actual guns, <laughs> which they shoot at you with copper bullets. The gun is a replacement for the bow. I don't think that there is a bow in this game. No, there is no bow. They're just the makeshift pistol and the rifle, which are respectively the bow and the crossbow. Just a thing that you should know before starting to play, because it could be quite surprising. Saying you see a skeleton, you prepare yourself to whoop his ass, and that bro just pulls out a gun. Yeah, it could be stressful. Okay, I think that I've almost drained that cave, so I'm going to go to my crafting stations and start smelting. Okay, I've arrived. No coal. <laughs> Let me make some furnaces now. A fair amount of furnaces. Now I just have to fill them up with my ores. And I need a chest. Another funny thing that I actually discovered is that you can create skipping stones. They are crafted by just placing a cobblestone in the crafting grid. And you know, it's a skipping stone. It should be used for skipping on water, right? It should not make any noise. However, if I go up to this creeper, yeah, come here, and I just throw the stone on it. <laughs> it makes a gun sound. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> Do you know what the best part is? I can actually spam that. I am a stone machine gun. <laughs> and as you can see, this can be used to skip on water. And if you throw them at the right angle, they go 
really far and I think that this is the only intended purpose. But I, on the other <laughs> on the other hand, have found a better alternative for these stones. If you don't have any ranged weapon, you can just spam and throw rocks at things. And this machine gun sound just makes it more ridiculous. Okay, time for me to find some coal because I'm actually really, really low on coal and I cannot smelt any of my bajillion tons of ore that I have mined. And again, what is that? Mining and crafting. What is this game? Okay, if I were on coal ore, where would I reside? Yo, cave, where the coal at? There is one. I'm actually just under my base because I can hear my furnace. What the hell do you want, bro? What do you want with me? Are you threatening me? Are you really threatening me? Do you want to have a taste of my machine gun? <laughs> That's never going to get old. Coal. I was actually trying to find coal. <clears throat> Sometimes I wonder if I have ADHD, man. I get distracted by everything. Like, I, like, you see, you see, I was trying to explain that I have ADHD and got distracted by explaining that I have ADHD. Okay, I have to, 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 to write this goal in my mind, like, go and find at least stack of coal. It's not that hard. Just go and do it. There it is. Okay, can I jump down without breaking both of my legs in 2000 places oh my God. <laughs> you see what i'm talking about this is scary man you're just minding your own business and this dude comes and just shoots at you <laughs> yeah pro tip play this mod pack with your headphones volume lower down because you're going to get scared that's karma man remember what i said that this cave was empty well now it's not empty please don't be just one call thank you Seriously, aren't there any coal veins around here? This is the most abundant resource in this game. <laughs> Why are there no coal veins around? How can I make this water to stop watering around? And this, yeah, yeah, of course, three pieces of coal. Yeah, just enough. Yeah, that's, that's the exact amount I needed, game. Thank you. You're so generous and giving. I really love you. I have to find another cave. This one is just depleted of resources. And I also have to find a stable income of food because these berries are not giving me the proper amount of saturation and are actually giving me diarrhea. No, 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 no. Son of a- ah! <sighs> Okay, a new cave. Maybe it's promising. Yeah, of course it is. Okay, 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 it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Maybe there is a big vein of coal just under my legs, which is going to make my day. No. <sighs> I just- I- just can't get it man when i play normal minecraft there's like a bajillion coal all around me and now there's nothing like literally nothing oh my god did you did you see that did you did you see that <laughs> oh that's super cute look the the dog has goggles ah, it's a little engineer oh my god that's super cool i've never noticed that do all wolves have goggles Okay, let's try to clutch that. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Where are you going? Okay, first time. <gasps> I really tamed him. I did tame him. Look how cute he is, my little engineer. I have to name you. I don't have a name tag, but I actually, I actually have to name you right now. Mm, your name is going to be Lezuko. <laughs> Look at him. And again. ADHD, go get some coal, dumbass. Okay. What the f is that? That's a snake. The coal is right there. I'm seeing it. But that's a snake. And it's fat. Are you hostile? Are you going to bite me? Are you venomous? Not poisonous. Snakes are venomous. Did a drown just shoot at me? Okay, that's actually a pretty big vein. Am I tripping? Am I, am I actually tripping? I am hearing a drowned that is shooting up. There it is, that little f <laughs> You cannot- Oh, f- <gasps>
Oh, you're going to get it, boy. I'm going to throw rocks at you so hard. Let's make that boy pay. I have a full magazine of rocks. Where are you, damn it? Do rocks actually go down? Oh, they're skipping stones. They disappear when they touch water. This one didn't. Okay, do they actually? Yeah, they do. Okay, you will live. Okay, let's go back to my station. Stop shooting at me. Yeah, panic at the disco man. Dance away. How are you throwing them so high? Anyway, I am lost. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Uh, I came from there. Yes, I'm hearing you that I have a minimap. Yes, I heard you. I'm not that dumb. Ah, at last, my home village. <laughs> I have stranded near and far, but I have always come home. Uh, let's put some... Wait. <laughs> Did I just find 13 coal? That's it. <gasps> oh, god damn it. Guys, I really suffer from ADHD. I'm really that stupid. I saw priority on my list. Find the home, but uh, <laughs> a bigger priority on my list. For oh, the damn quest book, I always forget about it. We created two parts and we are rewarded with fruit salad. Okay, that's cool. Yes, that's cool. I really like the idea of me crafting tools, giving me food, especially fruit salad. You know, salads are actually good for you and you're very healthy when you eat salads. So salads must be on the top place of our menu and our diet. So eat your salad, guys. Last key. I want meat, man. I want steaks. Don't give me salad. Okay, what is that? Oh, actually two new books that I'm definitely going to read. Yes, okay. What else do we have? We have no rewards for those. Cool, we have an egg sandwich and some co- <gasps> Thank you, good Lasky. <sighs> Oh my god, our prayers have been answered. Let's put some coal here and some coal here and get this coal and put it here and... Oh, I'm so relieved, man. If I had to go down a cave for the 105th time just to get some coal, I was going to go nuts. But now, since we have some, we won't need to. And as the sun sets over this beautiful landscape and this exploded train, our beautiful ADHD-induced protagonist is wondering if he should make a house or make create machinery. He chose to make create machinery. Okay, we have to collect some clay and we have to get eight iron, which I have right here. So we just need four clay. And we need the clay because andesite alloy is crafted with clay. So let me just put my ores here, put this here, and put this here. Stop telling me when I can go to sleep! Come on, 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 come on. Ah! How could you do that to me, game? Game, why? Just, why are you doing this to me? Are you having a nice nap? Get up! Fastling cost of waking up poor grumpy because of stupid villagers. Don't make love on my bed, I swear to God! Let's find clay. Actually, there is only gravel here. Cool. Yo, see, where the clay at, man? There's not a single piece of clay here, I swear to God. Okay. Um, my uh, extensive knowledge about this game <laughs> tells me that I should find a riverbed or a lake because clay generates there. Okay. Uh, this may, might be considered a river. Hmm, that's a cow. That's another cow. Maybe we can do something humane and get them to our base where they can make children and we can have a stable income. Of nah. Go get a boy. Go get a boy. Yeah, good boy. Let's go. Hmm. What is that? A bunny, but what is that? Some kind of ruin. Does it have loot? No. Goodbye. Clay! Yeah. And my dumbass forgot to craft a shovel again. Oh, am I so stupid? You know what? Do I have copper on me? No, I don't. Fuck. By hand it is. As I was eating berries just now, I kid you not, I heard my character fart. Damn, this game is too realistic for me. Oh, hey, I have collected some amount of clay. Oh, 64. And I am not going to collect more because I'm a lazy bitch. He should not be working. We should not be slaves to our own labor. We should make machines do that for us. And this 
is the whole purpose of this mod pack. Well, actually, not of the mod pack, but of the create mod pack. You know what I'm saying? Sh shut your ass. <sighs> I constantly keep forgetting when my base was. You want me to put a waypoint? Really? Is that something that people do? Okay. Base. No. Base. You happy now? Ooh. A beacon beam. How convenient for stupid people like me. Let us uh, just go through the quest book. I need four clay. And we've completed the last quest, which actually unlocked the Andesite world, which is the create part of things. The world of create is on machinery, industry, and automation. And this is the backbone of this mod pack. No shit. This chapter will introduce you to the basics of Create and what new blocks are available to you. Due to the scope of Create, this quest book cannot cover the full extent of what's to know about Create. Thankfully, hover over any Create block, whether in your inventory or in the REI screen, and hold W for a detailed explanation of how its mechanics function. If this deal isn't enough, you dumbass, feel free to look up videos. Mine, where resourcefulness is a trait to be proud of. Each successive chapter will introduce more complicated recipes and materials, challenging you to create bigger and more intricate manufacturing setups. Their world will be accessed to the cosmos. Above, the main goal of this small pack is actually to go... There is the moon, actually. You can go to the moon. You, you have to go to the moon, collect some stuff, come back to Earth, craft a rocket, go to Mars, collect the resources from Mars, come back to Earth, craft another rocket, craft another spacesuit. Yeah, you have to have spacesuits in this game. Craft another rocket, craft another spacesuit, go to, let's say, Venus. I don't know. Um, then come back to Earth, uh, create another rocket, uh, another space suit go to the sun and die this is the quest that introduces you to create and all of its machines at least the basic ones the ones that are crafted with andesite and only andesite the rolling mill the drill the mixer the saw the fan all clutches and gearboxes and stuff the cogs the first thing we have to do is read this if you create a capacitor generator of a bedrock it can create andesite granite and the other type of rock the other thing that it tells you is that you can compress actually let me let let me show you this real quick. You can compress stuff, okay? If I do cobblestone, you see I have compressed cobblestone. And if I put nine of the compressed cobblestone here, I'm going to get double compressed cobblestone. And I can do that until I get to, uh, I think, nine. No, nine is actually octuply compressed uh, blocks. 43 million, 46,721 gravel blocks, which is utterly insane. This is what this thing is. Actually, it's a double compressed, but uh, you create a double compressed andesite, you generate andesite cobblestone, andesite cobblestone, andesite cobblestone. You know, you have one in six chance to get Andesite. If you, however, create a triple compressed andesite, you'll get andesite every time. It's that simple. We have two paths that we can take. We can either create a bronze singer, which is created by smithing these, or we can create the andesite compound. And this is the thing that I'm going to be doing now. So to create an andesite compound, you go to your crafting station of choice, create some nuggets, and then do this. Three andesite on top, Three nuggets in the middle, three clay on the bottom. And you get a compound. One compound out of three andesite blocks. Okay, we have 21 compounds. And now, to create this precious alloy, you have to smell this. Yeah. And while that sucker smells, I'm going to go to the crafting grid and create a smithing table. Bam. It allows us to combine tin and copper into a bronze ingot. I'm going to get a bunch of these. We've actually created this and we created this. So now we have to get our alloy, put it in our hot bar to get the advancement and we get a dagger. We get a dagger, which I can stab my- I love these random rewards, man, that don't make any sense. We have to create the sheet, but how do we create a sheet? You might wonder. We have to create a press. Oh no, we can actually stone cut it. I don't know. We we could. Okay, that's that's a good uh, that's a good option for me. This is actually pretty pretty forgiving. I didn't I didn't know that we can do that. Maybe because bronze is considered uh, more uh, a softer ore, a softer type of thing. Let's place this here. Perfectly safe. Let's create the sheet. Cool. And we have our sheets. And we have our alloy, which means we can create cogwheels and shafts. Yay! Put one of these sheets and put one of these alloys and you get three cogwheels. In fact, I'm going to create two of them because the quest sets. And we have six cogs. After we have six cogs, we have to create eight shafts so we can put them in our... And we have the quest done. The next thing we have to do is actually the hand crank, which is something that is um, really useful in the beginning because you can activate machines with that hand crank. You can actually use them with 
without any generator whatsoever. So let's make a hand crank. Make a hand crank, just place three planks and one undesigning it as the handle of the crank. And you have a crank. And you have oh, six stakes. Yo, yo. Lasky, you really heard my prayers, man. Thank you. Actually, I'm more proud of myself that I managed to win some stakes. I don't care about cocks and stuff. I do not care about cocks. <laughs> I'm going to be calling them, um, um, teeth wheels. Because they have teeth. I got distracted again. Nude locks. And we have the mechanical press, which actually creates sheets and presses, presses stuff. And our andesite run out, but that's no problem because we have our first machine. The Bunkinator. Lo and behold, the create mod in action. Boing. I have to do this 10 times. <laughs> I just pressed my dock. <laughs> After we have gebjoinked our iron, we have a slightly thinner version of that iron ingot. Let's get my rewards, and now the fun part begins. As you can see, we can now craft iron tools, which are a pickaxe, which as I said, is crafted with sheets, or we can craft armor, which again, it's crafted with sheets. But the thing I want to do, I'm going to create a mechanical saw. And why? You ask, am I creating a mechanical saw? Okay, some of you create veterans might know that if you press a mechanical saw and then use the hand crank, you can actually cut down, wait for it, the whole tree. But what most of you might not know is that if you place the mechanical saw, if you place your saw like this and then do this and go and give it a spin, Actually cut more trees down. <laughs> you cut all of them. All the trees that you have connected are now down, <laughs> which is nuts. Operator, prepare the wood cutting device. Operator, ignite. <laughs> and just gone. Trees gone. So Faslin, you may ask, what are you going to do to end this episode? Well, of course, I'm going to commit a global crime and deforest this whole area. And committing a mass tree genocide in three, two, one. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up for this episode. We had a nice start with Create here on this page. We have our first Create machine. We have some tinkering stations. We have five furnaces. And we have a good supply of ore. And I think I'm going to leave it here as it is. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching. Shall I